Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math, and in today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. The concept is comparing and ordering numbers. This is part three. Remember third graders, every day may not be a good day, but there is something good in every day. Remember that. All of the problems we will be going through in our videos are in our third grade math review workbook and it is available for, available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted when we upload new videos. So let's look and do a little review about comparing whole numbers, okay? Step one, we write the numbers and line up the place values. Step two, begin at the left to compare digits of the same place value. Step three, if the numbers of the same are the same in the place values, continue until you can compare different numbers. And so you just move to the right. So for instance, let's say we're comparing two numbers and both of them have a four in the hundreds place, okay? That's the far left place value we have. What we're gonna do is move to the right to the tens place to compare the numbers. And then step four, write the appropriate inequality sign for the numbers. And remember, the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest number, okay? So we're about to dive into our first problem. And again, you can purchase your workbook so you can follow on, along with us. The link will be in the description box. Number 10 says, the list shows three clues about a number. Clue one is the number is less than 6,538. The second clue, the number is greater than 6,355. The third clue, the number has a digit less than five in the hundreds place. Which of these could be the number described? Is it F, 6,549, G, 6,268, H, 6,519, or J, 6,449? Whenever we're solving the problem, what we're going to ask ourselves is, well, what are we looking for? Okay. And one thing I will say third graders is whenever you're solving a multiple choice problem, it's better to solve the problem for yourself and then compare your answer with the answer choices, as opposed to just looking to see what the answer choices say and try to choose the correct answer. It can be confusing, you can get frustrated, and it could be overwhelming, and sometimes students just choose an answer. So what can help you not only make sure you understand how to solve the problem, is to go ahead and work it out yourself and then compare your answer with the answer choices, okay? So we are looking for the number being described. Our second important question is, what information can help find the answer? Well, the information that can help find the answer are our clues, okay? And again, let's talk about our clues. The number that we're looking for is less than 6,538. That means that if we compare the numbers, the alligator mouth would open up to 6,538 because the other number would be smaller. But the number is greater than, excuse me, greater than 6,355, okay? Lastly, the digit in the hundreds place is less than five. So how are we going to solve this problem? Well, what we're gonna do is we are going to walk through the problem and we're gonna cross out whatever answer choices that as we read the clues, we know that means they're wrong, okay? So let's look at the clues again. The first one is the number is less than 6,538. That means any number 
in our answer choices that's greater than 6,538, it's wrong, okay? So we're looking, let's look at the thousands place, okay? We look at all of the numbers in the thousands place, cool. We, all of them have a six, we're gonna move to the hundreds place, okay? F has a five, okay, that's the, it's still the same, but then we move to the tens place, our number should have a number less than, we said it's less than 6,538, but four is not less than three, right? So F is what? All the way wrong, okay? So let's look at G, okay? They both have a six in the thousands place, but they have, um, G has a two in the thousands place, and then um, our number is less than, so okay, G is still in the running, G is still in the running, H is still in the running too, because even though that um, in the thousands place and the hundreds place, the numbers are the same, one is less than three, so G, H, and J, because four is less than five, they're still in the running, so right now, the only answer choice we know that we can mark out is F. Now, let's move to our next clue, which is the number, our number that we're looking for, is greater than 6,355. So again, all we're looking at is G, H, and J, because we know F is all the way wrong, okay? So, the number that we're looking for, the mouth has to open up to that number because it is greater than 6,355. Okay, so let's look at G because we already know that F, you gone, baby. All right, so looking at G, both of the numbers have a six in the thousands place, and then we're gonna move to the hundreds place. So G has a two and we know that our number should have a number greater than or equal to three. Well, since we know two is less than three, G, you're out of here because that number is not greater than 6,355. Okay, so let's look at H and J. Okay, H is greater than, um, 6,519 is greater than 6,355 because five, both of them have a six, so we're gonna look at the hundreds place, and five is greater than three. And then looking at J, both of them have a six, we're moved to the hundred place, and four is greater than three, okay? So H and J are the ones that are still in the running. So, now, the last clue. Uh-oh, we're getting close, guys. The digit in the hundreds place is less than five, okay? Which two answer choices we said were left? H and J. So looking at H and J, which number has a digit that's less than five in the hundreds place? Okay, H is 6,519. Mm. J, I'm sorry, H, I'm sorry, dude. J, 6,449. Well, yeah, four is less than five. So we are able, we are able to cross out All right. Miss Jackson realized she crossed out the wrong answer. Okay, so we crossed out F, 6,549. Why? Because we said that our number is less than six, is less than 6,538. That's how F was crossed out. Then we were able to cross out G because we said the number we're looking for is greater than 6,355 and unfortunately 6,268, which is G. Mm -mm. That had to get out of here. And then the last clue was the digit in the hundreds place is less than 
five, okay? So because H has a five in the hundreds place, that is how we cross that out and listen. Miss Jackson had it wrong. So what is our correct answer? Our correct answer is J, 6,449, okay? Because it is less than 6,538. And it's also greater than 6,355. 6, and the digit in the hundreds place is less than five. It is four. Let's move to our next problem. Ooh, we have another one. Number 11, the list shows three clues about a number. Clue one, the number is greater than 85,629. Clue two, the number is less than 88,231. Clue three, the number has a digit greater than six in the hundreds place. Which of these could be the number described? Is it A, 88,165, B, 85,625, C, 88,930, or D, 87,720. So what's our most important question? What are we looking for, okay? We are looking for the number being described. And what information can help us find the answer? Well, the number, our clues are, can, is what is gonna help us discover what is the correct answer. So how are we gonna solve the problem? Well, what we're gonna do is we are going to walk through each of the clues to discover what answer choices we can cross out based on our clues, okay? Let's dive in. So our first clue says, the number is greater than 85,629. All right, so in comparing numbers, all of the numbers have an eight in the 10 thousands place. So now we're gonna go to the thousands place. Looking at the thousands place, well, eight um, is greater than, so okay. We can keep that answer choice. B, well, it has a five in the thousands place as well. It has a six in the hundreds place, just like we're comparing the 85,625 and the 85,629. And our alligator mouth would open up to the 85,629. So would open up to the number not 85,629, my apologies, okay? So, and we're looking we see that in the hundreds place, both of them have a six. In the tens place, both numbers have a two. In the ones place, B has a five. And in our number that we're looking for, that's greater than 629, B could not be our answer because that number is actually less than 85,629. C is still in the running because looking at our thousands place, eight is greater than five. And so looking at D in our thousands place, seven is greater than five. Okay, so right now, the only answer choice we have crossed out is B. So if you have your workbook, you can cross that one out. Now, we're gonna go to our next clue, which says, the number is less than 88,231, okay? The number is less than 88,231, okay? So let's look at A. A is 88,165, and we know the answer we're looking for is less than 88,231, okay? So our Ten thousands place is the same. Our thousands place is the same. Looking at our hundreds place, well, A is still in the running because yes, it is less than one. It's less than two. B, we already know is out of here. C, okay, 
C is 88,930, and we are looking for a number that's less than 88,231. So the, they both have an eight in the 10 thousands place and the thousands place. Let's look at the hundreds place. So in C, there's a nine in the hundreds place, and our number, we know it needs to be less than two or two or less than. Well, since nine is greater than two, C, you're out of here because it is not less than 88,231. So for right now, we know that B is wrong. C is not our answer either. Now, all we're going to do is focus on 88, the A, which is 88,165, and D, 87,720. Our last clue says the digit in the hundreds place is greater than six, okay? The digit in the hundreds place is greater than six. So looking at A, 88,165, there is a one in the hundreds place. And then looking at D, there is a seven in the hundreds place. So we can cross out A because one is actually less than six and our number is greater than six. So doing our comparison of our clues, third graders, we were able to cross out A, 88,165, B, 85,625, and C, 88,930. And we are left with D. 87,720. So what is our correct answer? The correct answer is D. Very, very good. Let's move to our next question. Question 12. The point on the number line represents the amount of money needed to build a garage. Which statement best describes the amount of money needed to build the garage? Is it F, the amount of money needed is more than $5,000? G, the amount of money needed is less than $4,000? H, the amount of money needed is about $5,000 because the point is closer to $5,000 or J, the amount of money needed is about $4,000 because the point is closer to $4,000, okay? And so let's look at our um, number line. We see that at each end on the left-hand side is the 4,000, and then on the right-hand side, we have $5,000 there is a hash mark in the middle, which means it's the halfway point. So it's about, uh, it's $4,500 is the hash mark. And we see where the point is for the amount needed, okay? So the first question we're gonna ask ourselves to solve this problem is, what are we looking for, okay? Very, very important question. We are looking for the statement that describes the amount of money needed to build the garage, okay? So since that's what we're looking for, the next thing we need to discover is what information can help us find the answer. All right, so in order to find out the information we need, we're gonna look at our point. And again, we're gonna analyze our number line. So we again said on the left-hand side, we have $4,000 for the hash mark. On the right-hand side, we have $5,000 for the hash mark. In the middle, that hash mark in the middle, that is the halfway point. So that is $4,500, okay? so. For the amount needed, we see that it's past $4,500. So the amount needed is more than $4,500 and it's less than $5,000, okay? How do we solve the problem? 
Again, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the information that is helping us find the answer. So let's dive in and we're going to look. We said the amount of money needed is more than $4,500 because the um, our point on the number line for amount needed is a little past $4,500, but it's less than $5,000. So let's look at our answer choices. The first answer choice is the amount of money needed is more than $5,000. Well, that's not true because we said it's actually less than. Okay, I'm going to go up one. Let's go up one because we have these red lines, baby, because we already know what we need to cross off, but we need to be able to see these, these words, okay? So again, the amount of money needed is more than $5,000. That's not correct, okay? Now... G, the amount of money needed is less than $4,000. Well, we know that that is incorrect as well because we see that for our point on our number line, it's actually past or greater than $4,500. So G is wrong too. H, it says the amount of money needed is about $5,000 because the point is closer to $5,000 and then J, the amount of money needed is about $4,000 because the point is closer to $4,000. So in just looking at H and J, what we're going to do is see which number is our point actually closer to. Now we can go back to our red lines to, so that we can see <laughs> because we couldn't see before with the red lines because we knew those answers were wrong. Okay. The only answer we have left is H. The amount of money needed is about $5,000 because the point is closer to $5,000. So what is our correct answer? The correct answer is H. The amount of money needed is about $5,000 because the point is closer to $5,000. And that is it, third graders, for comparing numbers part three. Again, if you would like to follow along with us as we do our problems, you can purchase our workbook. The description, the link will be in the description box. This is Shay Jackson. Talk to you later.